It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my series as Poland, the juggernaut of Central Europe. Okay, so we're going to plan an attack on Greece because they're an easy country that we can just knock out. They're in the Axis, so yeah. I'm actually really surprised by how strong Italy is pushing into here. They're doing insanely well. It's kind of a really bizarre place to land at, really, in the middle of uh, Leningrad, isn't it? They've got, they've got quite a few boats as well. So risky. All right, what we need to do as well is start producing some boats. So the plan was to modernize us, and we've, we've branched off a little bit more, but we're still pretty behind. <sighs> That's only a year ahead. I think we should go for some more destroyers as well. If we can create a main fleet based on destroyers and submarines, that'll be a worthy fleet. Oh. Ooh, hello, hello. The Soviet Union offers protection. Oh, boy. So they're basically saying that they'll protect us if we give up some of our eastern provinces. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> they have got cores on our lands as well. Or they've got claims, should I say. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Not going to happen, sir. We've got 2.3 million manpower now. Damn. Okay, political power is still a little bit behind. All right, so I remember now I am playing on veteran, so I am getting a penalty for how much political power I can gain per day. Okay, that explains why I've not filled out my cabinet yet. That explains a lot. So, that's something I've actually not taken into account. I've actually forgotten about. I, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So, there's the issue that countries that are the main powers have got, like, insane buffs. Um, air Doctrine, sure. So, we need to start researching planes as well now. Okay, you're maxed out. We're just losing some motorized and some artillery. You're maxed out too. You're maxed out too. I feel like I don't really want to make any more of these. I feel like I just want to make regular infantry. Oh shit. There we go. Yeah, I just want to make regular infantry. I don't want to produce too many tanks. If I've got too many tank divisions, I'm going to run into supply issues late game, and I don't want to do that. We could make another tank army as well, couldn't we? All right, so we have a war justification on Greece. And they are still in the Axis. I think they're the only member. Yes, they are. All right, let's declare war. Um, I think we have got a few boats, haven't we? We'll use them. You guys go. Move a few of you over here. A few of you there. A few of you there. They might automatically remove, but I don't care. 400 planes. Where are our best planes? These are all planes that we've captured. I don't think we've made any of these, have we? The best ones are going to be at the bottom, normally. Okay, that's good. Minus 50, minus 5. Alright, go. I think they might maneuver back. Yeah, there's, there's 17 there. What we'll do is we'll make our main thrust into this province. And then we'll grab this province and then this one. And then they'll, we'll create, we'll split Greece in two. Yep, that's the plan. Uh, extra artillery, it's a little bit ahead of time. No, let's go for more subs. And I need landing craft too. Shit. That's too far ahead, that's a year ahead. There's so much technology to research. God, we can go for atomic research as well. Oh, yeah. No, we need fighter planes. Let's get fighters out of the way. Okay, so let's wait for these planes to arrive. They've arrived. Go into Greece. Air superiority. 98% efficiency. That's nice. And then you're gonna, you guys are going to attack. We're going to declare war. And then we're going to go here. So, yet again, I don't think I'm going to win these. But here, I'll be able to push in and just split them in two. Looks like we're winning quite easy. Let's have a look at the damage. So, base attack is... Not even able to read that in time. Too strong. 
supply issues here. It's because there's limited of limited amounts of troops. You guys whoosh around. I, I know you guys are not on that front line, but it doesn't matter. All right, all right. You grab Athens. And I'm f fairly certain that most of their troops will be on this front line, so we'll be able to, as we're pinning them in, we can just swoosh around. That's a technical term, actual general term, swoosh. Oh my damn. Overrunning them at some right speed. Light tanks are insane. Light tank speed, base speed is 12 kilometers per hour. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, they've been a bit cheeky there after spot. They've just closed us off. But we've got access to this dock anyhow. There we go, I've done it. Nice. Alright, this is where you capitulate. Man, I'm putting up a fight here. This is mountains, I think. Yeah, it is. It's mountains and it's raining. What difference is our planes making? Reducing air superiority by 45%. That's insane. And bankrupt has capitulated. Oh, oh there we go. I panicked for a second. I was like, are you a member of a faction? Are you a member of a faction? All right, okay. So the initial plan is to create Greater Poland. I think I set some kind of goal before now, and I can't remember what the goal was. I don't know. Maybe what we'll do is we'll create Greater Poland again. Great, 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 great Poland again. And then, I don't know, we'll go from there. Uh, new... Oh, it's 1944. We can get two extra models of Destroyer. Uh, vodka wants an alliance. Nope. Alright, done. You guys just go on the border somewhere. So, one of the things that is apparent is I can wear down the allies. Because they've all got re relatively small amounts of manpower. I mean, Portugal's already on all adult serve. The UK is on all adult serve. And Italy is on service by requirement, so they're getting beaten up on manpower. So that's one thing that allies are weakness weaknesses. They're not going to be able to sustain a really long war, but vodka will. And then again, Japan's got quite a good population too. What's there? They're on extensive, and vodka's on extensive too. Are they still the main powers? And Romania as well, for some stupid reason. I have no idea why Romania is a major power. I couldn't say maybe Bulgaria being a major power, but, but Romania? Okay. I do not make the rules. Into Warfighter. Yes. Now we'll push one of those to the top, because we do need fire planes. Uh, I think we're making too many of these. Let's make some wins. How's the production of oil going anyway? We pumped a load of fineries out, haven't we? We need a little bit of rubber now. We still need quite a large amount of oil. We're gonna have to make quite a lot of refineries to catch up. Yeah, every single one of these refineries, isn't it four oil? That's five. So, every two refineries we can kill one trade deal. So, let's make a few. The production cost eight thousand seven hundred. Ow! Wow! 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 I'm gonna stick that port to the top because I want to make sure I max it out as soon as possible. You know what? As well, we could do. We could build some airports too. Where's our big airports? Let's have a big one. We've got a really fairly big one here as well, haven't we? Hmm. And one here. I feel like I'm gonna have a big one here too. One, two. There's a big one here. Oh man, there's a big one here too. Did we make that? I don't think we did. Here and here. Alright, that'll do. 
Rocket technology, yes. How much world tension did we just cause just then? When we annex Greece, we caused war tension of 214%. Really? That feels a bit too high. The Treaty of Coming. <laughs> okay, so flexible line is done. That's too far ahead, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want to do that. Now, one day I did want to find out what these doctrines do individually, but I think I always go for... Let me have a little outline. Why don't I spend a minute doing this? Go for another plane. Yeah, so we've got... So, battlefield support. By improving how close air support interacts with divisions, we can lay waste to enemy divisions with optimal support. So, this one focuses on fighter planes and close air support. A strategic destruction by bombing enemies' factories either by night or more dangerously during the day, we can seriously hinder the war machine. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It's bombing with strategic bombers or tactical bombers, and also with fighter support. And operational integrity. Tactical bombers are flexible and can involve both ground support and regular bombing. So this kind of gives the impression of flexibility, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess this is this one is very similar to Strategic Destruction, isn't it? But this one has an emphasis on being more mixed. I think I'm going to go for Battlefield Support because I'm going to go for Fighter Planes. I'm not going to make Close Air Support though, just Battle Fighter Planes. Okay, steel and rubber. Yet again, I don't feel like it. Do you know what? We'll, we'll import more steel, but I'm not really bothered about importing any more rubber or oil. Okay, Goat Feckers has joined the common term. That's the other one, isn't it? I think it's time to go for encryptions. Yeah, okay, let's do those. They're only 70 days apiece. Okay. So these tanks are just being based here just to have somewhere they can actually be. Um, I don't really want them just hanging around in the center because I don't want any issues with... with um, yeah, I don't want any issues with um, their positioning. Such as supply issues. So right now we're importing 192 oil. We get five oil per refinery. So we're gonna need at least 50, 100. No, no, what am I saying? 20, we need about 40 refineries then, don't we? 40 refineries to make our oil production so we can be an oil independent. We get a little bit of rubber from refineries too, which is sweet. There's actually an extra refinery in this game that lets you to produce it lets you produce some extra oil, rubber. Oh, we've got steel factories too. Oh, shit. We can produce more steel. Air support mission efficiency 20%. Yeah, let's do that. You know what? I want to get all the encryptions out of the way first. 
And we'll do the refineries too. And you know what? Think about it. We probably should go for radar as well. That's something I just don't really do. Now, if someone in the chat could explain this to me or the comments, how does radar work? So radar allows you to gain intel on enemy troops in nearby states. Okay, so it gives you intelligence as well. The higher level in, in the state increases the ra effective range of the radar. Makes sense. Radar also provides the state with better detection of enemy air forces, giving you planes a better chance to engage them. Does that apply to all kinds of planes or just bombers? Because I always thought it was just interception and interception bonus, which if it's interception, that's only going to affect fighters versus bombers, isn't it? Or is it? Okay, rocket development's done. Submarine operation doctrines. We will do that, but soon. We need air innovations too, because we want to get through those techs as quick as we can. So, I'm not actually sure if you can do it. I think there isn't. Isn't there a national focus for the USA to make their own, make their own faction? Yeah, a lot of them aren't going for national focuses because they don't have options. I think a lot of them burned out. <laughs> yeah, they have. So it looks like the Americas aren't going to join this war. Oh, I don't know because I don't know because they're in the Allies, aren't they? Okay, so it looks like the only people who are going to be involved are the Mexicans, are they? What am I talking about? The Comintons here as well with Venezuela. Never mind. Okay, um, I just think America's not going to join. That's the war problem. With all their production and divisions, it's going to be kind of crazy if they don't join the war, but with the war, no. Anyway, so, yeah, they'll give me another invitation. No, I'm not bothered. Will, I, will you let me join the Allies? You let me join the Allies? Man, what? I'm actually really surprised because I've conquered most of Europe. And I'm actually really surprised they've actually let me get away with it, you know? So, the Allies then. So, Albania's an issue. Italy, France. Well, France doesn't exist. It's just Portugal. This is all Portugal, this. And then it's Italy here. And the UK's here. So, if we're going to make a landing here, we need to make sure our, our forces are, are up to date, aren't we? So, what we're going to have to do is do a naval landing on here. And then do a, a blitzkrieg across. If, you know what's going to happen here? We're going to make a blitzkrieg with our tanks. And because they're so incredibly fast, we'll be able to knock them out. And when we get to Spain, there'll be no troops left. And we'll be plowing through Spain. Portugal is going to get knocked out at some record speed. I can feel it. Okay, so we're going to need, we're going to need more technology for amphibious landings as well. So let's go for that too. So we can send... Increase capacity, let's do that. Yes. Okay, battleship. We're searching this one. This one's not in four years, it's four years away. So we can start producing up-to-date destroyers, which is good. How do new boats appear then? So I, I assume that eventually they'll phase out like the bigger ships. No, it's 1956. They don't start phasing out like battleships and other other battle cruisers until like the 70s and 80s do they we've got a nuclear battleship and a nuclear carrier a nuclear sub too cool production communism partisans ship designer that feels kind of relevant right now. I think we're going to go for fighter planes, though. If we can position some really good air bases around here. Where are our air bases? Do, 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 do. Did we build them? Yeah, we built them. Oh, no, they're all at the bottom. Fuck. Whoops. Whoops. 
You don't have to import as much oil now. Good. I need to import as much rubber. Good. All right, we've researched the semi-modern light tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help out the the Russians and I'm going to give them loads of guns. How many have we got? We've got 26,000? No, 262,000. So we can give them 10,000, right? We're going to send them 300 convoys as well. Yep. Yeah. So if I know the AI the way I know the AI, the AI is making stupid mistakes by by not making enough guns, and this is going to give them a big boost. So this is the plan. This is Operation Double Dealing. So the plan is this. I help out the common turn, right, by giving them guns, because they've got lots of manpower, right? And the plan is, in the long run, that it gives them... What, does that give them extra recruitable population? Well, it does. Okay. Yeah, so the long-term plan is that they've got lots of manpower, so they can sustain a long war where the allies can't. So if I give them guns, it'll start to wear down the allies. And plus, we've got another front line in the east as well, which we don't want to do, so... I don't want to do that. I feel I'm tempted to go for radar, you know. That's a battleship. That's submarine tactics. That's air bombers, bombers, heavy fighters. We'll go for the radar tech. Okay, so let's get our guys into position here. So we'll take off 24,000 troops. 24 divisions. And we'll assign them to this general. Uh, no, I think we're going to give it to this field marshal. Because of the combat width. Is that even going to make any difference? No, we'll go for the planning guy. And we're going to go from here to the classic location in Britain. Which is going to be here. No. Should we try something really different? Should we try landing directly on Dover? This is so risky. All of these have got pause. Let's go here. Let's just try something a bit different. I feel like I always land on the same locations when I invade Britain. So let's try something a bit different. Right, everyone go there. So this is good. So we're going to be building up planning from now. And the planning is going to take a while for 24 divisions as well. Uh, 10 divisions. Nice. That's one thing our army is really lacking. We don't have that many divisions. So this is going to be good. Go here, 16 divisions. I think what we'll do is we'll just mix tanks in with our regular divisions. That'll probably be all right. All right, so your job, the Black Army, is to swarm down into Greece and take Sicily. This army on the land, not this one. Oh shit, we need some troops on the back just to cover the flanks. If they take Warsaw and most of our cities in Poland, we'll make us capitulate. Hmm. Okay. I think we're going to choose to go from the n northern tip of the lowlands here. And then we're going to just push all the way down. This is There's not a lot. There's a few rivers here. But mostly it's plains, so we'll just sweep through them. Oh, this is going to be so good. All right. Navy, on the other hand, is mainly submarines. And they're going to be on kept convoy escort. They're probably going to have to be here too to cover this area. Um, we've got a planes here as well. We'll use some of our older models. How many can we muster? Quite a few. Where's our other air big air base? There's another one, isn't there? Where is it? Oh, actually, we've not. The other one's here. Mm, we'll put them all here, it doesn't matter. They're on the same spot. How big is this one? 8,000? As long as it's got 1,000. I always think that's the minimum amount that I like to have on my airbase is 1,000 planes. 
I don't know, we've got quite a lot. There are a lot of old models. There's a mixture of quite a lot of planes, but they're all doable. So maybe we should have one plane. What I want to do is have one plane covering northern France. One air wing covering France and one air wing covering the English Channel. It's only going to be temporary. Just while we do the invasion, but when that's done, we'll move on. I'm going to arrive on the 5th of October. Go here. Perfect. Missing equipment for artillery. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Why are we losing artillery? Is it here? Is there some kind of supply problem? Oh, I think the artillery is coming from the new regiments we're training. I think I think that's where they're coming from. Rocket artillery is 28k. I think we can mix them out now. Do, do, do. 144 days. It's almost 1945. Oh man, we should be researching jet engines as well. There's so much tech that we need to make our army up to date. We want to make our tanks. Oh shit, we're not mixing out the tanks as well. Oh no, we had the, we had the new models, didn't we? So semi-modern light tank. This is a production cost of 10, it goes up to 11. Breakthrough 46, soft attack 19. Goes up to 40, 56, 10 extra breakthrough. 22 soft attack, oh man, this is so worth it. Extra speed and extra engines as well. Pooh ball. It's meant to be Poland ball, but I forgot to type the L. Pole ball. This is probably going to cause them to do a lot more imports. Yeah, we need tons of tungsten. Not as much oil though. Oh no, we need more oil. We need tungsten too. Cool. Upgrading those tanks, that's good. We've got any new models of submarine? No. We're waiting for that new model of destroyer to be complete, then we'll start pumping out destroyers. Fighters, fighter two. Be mechanized. I think it might be time now to as well start to make some better mechanized too. How much steel do we need? Loads. It's a little bit of oil, but we can get away with that one little speck of oil. Alright, can we mix in some mechanized now? Now I'm really curious to see what difference this is going to make. Oh, what? We've got no, not a good enough army experience? <sighs> really? I thought we'd be getting a lot of army experience from sending the guns to the Soviet Union. Well, vodka, should I say. Receiving any time. So what you tend to find, what I've found anyway, is when you send guns to an ally or an enemy, you find they don't initially come through like straight away. I don't know, it takes them a little while to appear and start taking advantage of it. I'm sending them a lot of guns up. Let's send them some better stuff. I'm really nervous they're going to lose. And then we're going to be fighting a two front war. Which in a kind of way, maybe we want to do that because Italy and Portugal and the UK are pretty weak, aren't they? Yeah, for all playing purposes, why not? Guns, let's give them artillery. Give them a thousand supply, maybe. Two thousand supply. No, fifteen hundred supply. Trucks. A thousand trucks. Anything else they might need? Do you really want some tanks? Do you want some old shitty tanks? Sure, why not do? Boom, there we go. See the guys, we're actually sending them like a full-blown army now. This isn't aid as such, this isn't just ba bags of flour, you know, and bits of bread, you know. We're actually sending them a full-blown, modern, up-to-date army. Okay, that tech's complete. We go for the production soon. Oh man, we could go for this soon as well. We could have an aluminium factory. So this gives extra defense and breakthrough, extra reconnaissance and soft attack, extra engineer reliability. 
but gives extra breakthrough on urban and four. I don't think we're going to do that. I don't like some of these that give penalties. This gives tank variants extra breakthrough and defense. Damn, the defense is huge. This one gives extra operational range for planes, but less agility and speed. And as you go down the tree, you get that range back, you get that agility back until it gets to the bottom where you get a boost of 40% range, but then you, you don't, you break even on agility and max speed. Okay, so it's 1944, almost 45. I guess we could go for, we've not gone for radios yet, so we'll do that. Rockets, that's what we need to do. We go for modern tanks, this is two years away. Oh, uh, too far away. There's other things that are more of a priority right now. We got new rockets too. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. They seem to be making some crazy gains from the south. It looks like the AI is really coordinated now. You know, as before, there wasn't many battles happening. But now there seems to be the ones that are happening everywhere, aren't they? You've got here, all over the Middle East as well. They do look like they're slowing down, though. Oh, I don't know. It seems like they're holding ground around Moscow, but in the north, they're pushing out. Yeah. I don't think we're going to wear down the Soviet Union, though. Oh my god, how many divisions have they got? It's crazy. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. I am really sorry these ones have been a little bit slower than the other episodes. And that's because I've got to plan up my army and make sure I'm state of the art. I want to make sure I've got an update air force and navy. And I've got the most modern tanks possible. And then we're going to launch our attack on our enemies. And then go from there. Guys, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon. And remember to comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.